everyone, this is Pete with Look and Diecast, and today I've got a show for you that's full of mystery, full of intrigue, full of Hot Wheels, cars. Let's call it the Hot Wheels Mystery Series 2 opening. I've got all 12 of these cars. We're going to be checking them out, coming right up. I love a good mystery. Full disclosure, I've already recorded this and held up all the cars and they were out of the frame. So I'm going to redo this a little bit. I'm going to try to look surprised, but I have looked through these before, but you haven't seen them yet, so you'll be surprised. All right, first thing I want to show you is the packaging. The packaging shows all of the cars on the beach scene. On the back, it's got all of the models. And of course you see that mystery car right there. That's our chase car, our number one. It does say that it's the 55 Chevy, but we don't know what it looks like just yet. Uh, inside the bag is a sticker for each one of these. And these are all kind of tropical themed. And you'll see that on the designs of the cars. First one is the Carbonic in red. And I really like the Carbonic. Uh, it's an open two-seat roadster. It's got a white interior, yellow uh, windshield, and it's got those black and yellow stripes, and it's got those yellow lightning bolts. And you can see the number on the side of the car, that number 10. That corresponds to the number in the set, so this is 10 out of 12 cars in this series. It's got those uh, PR5s with yellow rims. That is the Carbonic. And this is number nine, Riveted. And this is the only one that's really kind of a dark color. Uh, it's, I've not seen a whole lot of the Riveted. It's got this wing in the back and these louvers here. It's got the gray plastic engine. It's got a tropical scene with the sun with the number nine in it. You can see Hawaiian flowers and palm trees swaying in the breeze. Neat little car, kind of Mad Maxy looking. Reminds me of the movie Mad Max. That is the Riveted, and it is a fantasy car, as are most of these. Up next is, ah, uh, this one is actually really cool. This is the Rocket Box, which is not necessarily one of my favorite castings, but I really like this issue of it. You see that number seven on the hood, and you see all these teal and pink feathers, and they go with that little dude on the side. Pink flamingo with sunglasses, definitely tropical look to it. You got the pink, uh, pink rims, you got the big oversized wheels in the back and the regulars up front those are again pr5s that is the rocket box and it's one of my favorite decos for this set i really like the way they did that all right okay this is a good one number two is corvette more exactly it is the 14 corvette stingray and it's another roadster gray interior it's got a tinted windshield smoke it's got silver and black stripes and it's got those lace wheels i like the chrome lace painted headlights they do for the you're you're just paying a dollar for these if you can find them these are walmart exclusive but it's got tamp on the side tamp on the top other side and the front headlights so that is a lot of tampa work on these things for, for it to be really a basic priced vehicle. Okay, so now we're going with another one of the, uh, this is the 2013 SRT Viper. So this is another licensed vehicle, number three in the set, and it's got that candy blue. I don't think it's, eh, it might be a little metallic to it. Uh, it's got white and red striping. It says Beach Patrol right here. Beach Patrol on the side and the Hot Wheels logo. 
red chrome rims, white interior, blue tinted window. It's a good looking version. I've got the Zotic. And that is like a bubblegum pink or lavender metallic paint. It's got blue teal and white geometric patterns in it. Chrome engine, chrome interior, tinted windows. The splitter up front is black, part of the base. That is the Zotic, and it just looks like it'll be great on our little track, but it probably won't be. It seems like everything that looks fast is not, and then the cars that don't look like they'd be fast really tear it up. This is Diesel Boy. Diesel Boy I haven't seen around too much lately. Uh, it's got green and yellow kind of feathered striping. Kind of cool little pattern in the front. Painted headlights. It's got that green interior. Uh, not a lot to say. It's got open hole fives with uh, yellow rims. It's got a dark green plastic base. And again, that interior is green and it's a white. Nice little version. Let's see what else we got. We're going to save this one for last. Let's see what else we got. All right, Mono Postal. All right, not the most exciting casting. It is pretty cool. It's got the yellow windshield and the white plastic driver in the interior. But the cool thing about this casting is the tampo work on it. Sort of, sort of has a tiki theme to it, and you can see it on the side where there's an eye right here. It looks like a tiki idol. Um, really cool, really, really Hawaiian type look to it. I think they did a good job. It's that light blue, almost a turquoise, with dark blue and yellow uh, white patterns and a little bit of yellow where the number is. It's got the uh, trapezoid wheels with yellow rims. Nice, nice little car there, the Mono Posto. Alright, this one is the Faradox. So this is supposed to look like some sort of an Egyptian themed vehicle, not this livery, but when it originally came out. I don't quite see it. Definitely not with this um, paint scheme deco on it, but it does have a cool tiki type look on it with a metallic blue and black. It looks like a face there. It's got the number 11 on the side. Again, you see those open holes. It's got larges in the back and it's got that um, metallic blue rims. It's got a blue windshield and a gray interior. This is definitely going to be one of our track cars. Probably won't be huge in our collection. Uh, next up is the <laughs> collector's favorite, the Bone Shaker. This is a great version of the Bone Shaker. It's the open roof Bone Shaker. It's got a black interior. Hopefully you can see that. The base is red, so the floor is red in there. Uh, it's got a checkerboard pattern on the hood. The number six, that skull is black. It's got a checkerboard on the side, and the side pipes are black as well. And hopefully you can see that. It's got that wild cat. He's got a baseball, a ball cap, and the bill's flipped up, and it's got the number eight on it. It says Bone Shaker right here. This is a really cool, it's got those, I just love the classic five spokes and they're in red chrome on this. I just love the Bone Shaker and this is another fantastic version of the Bone Shaker. All right, we're getting close to the end. Ah, this is, this casting came out beautifully. This is an old standby, the Twin Mill. This one's light blue. It's got an orange base. It's got uh, some MC5 chrome rims, chrome wheels. Uh, it's got a chrome interior. Those engines are chrome. 
And the thing I really love about this is that Tampo design. Looks like a surfboard. It's got the orange, yellow, and white stripes, the number five in the circle. And just the shape of this car and that Tampo design just really lends it to look like a surfboard. It's got the Hot Wheels logo on the back there. The Twin Mill is kind of hit or miss for me. This one's definitely a hit. This is a beautiful release of a Twin Mill. And I think that gets us to the Chase car. Number one, what we've been waiting for. And this is actually pretty stunning. It's a lavender metallic, dark lavender. And it's the 55 Chevy. It's got purple metallic flames on the hood. It's got this pineapple skull in an iridescent blue on the roof against more purple flames. It's got some more flames on the side. It's got these diamond patterns and the Hot Wheels logo. Look at that chrome bumper in the back, that chrome grill, chrome bumper in the front chrome rims, white interior, little bit of shade, little bit of tint, smoke to the windshield. This is an absolutely beautiful car. Definitely should have been the chase car. It's really great. That is your number one. That's got all of them. Hope you enjoyed checking these out. Thanks so much for watching and until I see you next time, enjoy the ride.